Hey guys, welcome to the new and improved Metal Finisher TV. So you're probably wondering, how is the Metal Finisher TV different from any other stupid videos we've done? Well first, we have a house band. Take it away, little Teddy. Good job, Teddy, we'll see you next time. Secondly, we finally have a sponsor. So check out our new sponsor here at the Metal Finisher TV. The mobileblaster.com. Hey, thanks for having us on your uh, wonderful show. We're the mobileblaster.com. If you're a mobile blaster or you need a mobile blaster, go to our website. Or don't, whatever. I don't give a shit. Ooh, can't have that. And then lastly, you probably noticed who's not here right now. Sean One Take Simmons. So we're going to give him a call live and see why he couldn't show up on a Friday to do a video with me. Hey Sean, this is the Metal Finisher TV. What you doing? Oh, you know me, just doing nothing. You on vacation trying again? To skate, trying to skate out of work, uh, like usual. Okay. Will you get some rest, Bob, and uh, you want to say anything to the listeners? Uh, no, you know what? Don't even go out and blast anymore. Just put your feet up, relax. That's what you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy, we'll see you at call tomorrow. It's toodles. Uh, series, which is the Abrasive Blast Cabinet Series. Our first episode today, we're going to talk about pressure blasting versus suction blasting in a blast cabinet and we'll be utilizing Empire uh, for both uh, processes. Uh, in a few minutes, we're gonna go down to the lab and we're gonna blast a really rusty piece of metal. Um, we're gonna blast half with the pressure and then half with the suction. But before we do that, I wanna talk a little bit about the differences between the two and a few pros and cons. All right, let's start with pressure. The pressure system uses a pressurized vessel. That's a lot of pressures in one sentence, but uses a pressurized vessel uh, filled with abrasive and then it has a uh, hose and a nozzle. Pressure is faster and more aggressive. It's not a continuous system, so when your pot empties out, you're going to have to take your foot off the treadle so it can depressurize and you can replenish your pot with abrasive or medium. Here are some of the pros of the pressure system. You're going to have increased productivity. You're going to be able to push the heavier medias like your real big uh, steel shot and steel grits. And then lastly, as we already said, it's faster and more aggressive. Now some of the cons, uh, one being that your initial expense is going to be higher than with a uh, suction unit. Uh, with the pressure, because it is more aggressive, you're going to have more wear items, you're going to spend more time replacing the wear items and spend more on those wear items. And then lastly, it requires almost twice as much air as the suction unit. Now let's talk about the suction blasting systems. You'll need a suction gun with an air jet uh, used to siphon abrasive through the hose. This process is slower and less pronounced. Some of the pros of the suction are lower upfront cost, lower operating cost, and it uses half of the air of a pressure unit. Most of the automated systems you're gonna see out there are gonna be suction. This is because, like I said, they are continuous. We don't have time to take our foot off the treadle or turn the machine off to replenish the pot with media. We just want to keep going and going and going until we're done with all of our parts. Some of the cons of the suction system are it's slower at cleaning, uh, it can be difficult to remove those heavier coatings, and then lastly, unlike the pressure system, you typically can't uh, push those really big steel shots and grits through.
All right, guys, we're back now from the lab, and we're gonna go ahead and put the part up here for you to take a look at. So we blasted half of it, well, more, a little more than half with the pressure system, and then the other half with the suction system. We used uh, aluminum oxide on both, but I think the pressure system uh, had some fresher stuff in there, so it might have been a little bit bigger. Um, and we ran both machines at 85 PSI. Now, I haven't had a chance to look through the video yet, so I don't know the difference in timing, but just from uh, my point of view, the pressure seemed a lot quicker, as to be expected. I also noticed that the suction wasn't as pronounced as the pressure, as we talked about the pros and cons earlier. And then you still see really faint amount, and you really see just a little bit of residual rust, I guess, or darker spots on your part. Thanks again for joining us here at TheMetalFinisher.com. As always, if you have any product or process reviews you'd like us to tackle, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below or send them over through Facebook to either The Metal Finisher or The Mobile Blaster. Thanks again for joining us and we'll see you soon.